What's going on guys, Shadow Ninja here, and today we got another Destiny 2 video covering another stasis weapon. I know, I'm shocked too. Bungie did a great job here making some seriously powerful stasis weapons actually worth using, even if they are primary weapons in certain cases. So today's video is going to be about the Fair Judgment Auto Rifle. This ritual weapon is a must have if you guys are looking for some incredible synergy with frost armor and shattering crystals. Thankfully, we have a build video that combos perfectly with this weapon, so check it out after this video. Also, if you guys enjoy the content and want more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell to be notified for when I do drop more content. With that out the way, let's talk about Fair Judgment. This weapon is a 450 RPM stasis auto rifle. Yeah, I know. Stasis, auto rifle, primary, 450. It's a weird mix. Now, you can get this from any three of the ritual vendors. Uh, this can be Zavala, Shax, or if for some reason you still play Gambit, the Drifter. But getting to rank 16 is how you collect this weapon. Now, why would you want to use it? Well, for PvE, it has the best stasis per combo in the game right now, that being Rhyme Stealer and Headstone. And for PvP, even though this isn't a PvP video, it has Dynamic Sway and Onslaught. So if you want to give it a go there, uh, the perk combo is great for that mode, especially if you guys like your 450 auto rifles in PvP. It certainly is worth using there. So with that out of the way, let's go back onto PvE. Rhyme Stealer, which is a brand new perk we have been talking about a lot recently, is the juice stasis weapons needed. And it reads like this, destroying a stasis crystal or defeating a frozen target with this weapon grants you frost armor. Frost armor is awesome. And if you build into it even better, you guys will see in that stasis build video. But some of that is highlighted here. I am basically maxed out on frost armor all the time. It's incredible. It is honestly what I've been looking for. But the other perk that makes it so possible and so good is headstone. It's one of the other main factors. Headstone reads like this. Precision final blows spawn a crystal at the victim's location. As you guys see, crystals, shooting, destroying them, frost armor, freezing things around you. This combo is incredible. This is what I wanted from stasis primaries. And the main reason is ever since they were introduced, the only stasis weapons you really ever wanted was the special or heavies. And that is particularly because of chill clip. Now they have done tweaks to chill clip. They have nerfed it and then they have rebuffed it and recorrect it. It is still a very, very powerful, but this excluded primaries. And the only reason primaries had any edge was due to being a better damage difference than non-elemental kinetics at its time, well, specifically kinetic primaries. And this advantage that it had is long gone. It has been for a while. So at least in Revenant, it seems that with Rhyme Stealer and Headstone, Stasis primary weapons have a place in PvE worth using. I think Bungie, again, did great work here to kind of correct some wrongs and, and create some synergetic stasis combinations that were really missing when stasis primaries were first introduced. Headstone for the long while was the main perk, but again, Headshot, Crystal, it's not as good as Firefly or Dragonfly. Didn't even have a combination of working together when it came to Headstone and Firefly, for example, or Dragonfly. Those combos did not proc each other. So for the most part, Headstone was really left alone. But Rhyme Stealer really comes in and gets more juice out of Headstone. And it's really, really good to see a artifact that really does enhance stasis shattering, stasis weapons in general, and just the overall stasis elements in the sandbox it is again the first time in a while that i have enjoyed using stasis weapons like this now i will close out by saying this fact uh this will be a 450 auto rifle which means that it's unfortunately one of those archetypes that may not be for everyone for me i love it however i'm sure people you've probably seen in the past have claimed 450s are completely useless i do think that bungie has made them feel better and it really is highlighted here with this perk combination but doesn't mean you shouldn't try it this is a ritual weapon so it's easy to get and you should at least find out for yourself before dismissing fair judgment if this is a weapon you will enjoy but in general that's pretty much all i gotta say on this one not really a long video it is a ritual weapon there is no discussions of you know deciding which perks are the best perks to farm and things like that it's pretty straightforward forward uh this is certainly one of the best ritual weapons we have gotten in a long while so i really urge you guys to check it out give yourself a go and you could even drop a comment down below if you guys have checked it out for yourself or if you guys finally got to that point to check it out curious to hear your guys thoughts on this weapon it could be a little divisive one not saying it is the golden 
greatest auto rifle in the game right now, but it is certainly one that you can get a niche out of and really have a great time. But yeah, leave a comment down below. If you guys enjoyed, found this video informative, be sure to drop the video a like, helps out the video a ton. And of course, for more content from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell to be notified when I do drop more content. But again, that's all I got to say in this one. Hope you guys have a good one. Shadow Ninja here, and I'm out.